That is the WilliamsOnlinePrinting.com, GPS Cortec Dodge, John Salemi, Nashua, New Hampshire. One of four cars involved in the night's first caution and apparently out of tonight's race all too early. Yeah, sure is. A lot of damage on that 28 car for John Salemi. Scott Steckley also involved, Jamie Hayes, Steve Park. Steve oh. was able to continue. I don't, yep. and Steve did not lose a lap. So uh, he is at the back of the pack, still on the lead lap. And Steckley is also out of the race. Jim Trado's with him. Scott, you've come a long way to race in this showdown. Too bad it ended early. What did happen? Uh, there was just a wreck in front of me, and I, I had nowhere to go. The car was just coming around. It was going to be good for the long haul. Uh, I just got to thank all my sponsors, Tow Truck in a Box, and Herb Transport, and AW Mail Rights, um, Canadian Tire also. And just uh, It's just too bad. It started out as a great week, and, and it ended too early tonight. Indeed it did. I think he wins the longest pull award. I said, how far did you come to get here? How many miles? He said, I have no idea. Dick? Well, Joey Logano, car number 08, was the winner here last year. His nickname, Sliced Bread, because everything seems to go as well as, well, Sliced Bread. He's the best thing since. Not tonight. They've got engine problems in that 08 car. Said the carburetor is stumbling, and uh, they're looking at changing that during the break. But you're not supposed to raise the hood, so we'll see how that turns out. Dick, I guess there was a great battle at Joe Gibbs Racing over which driver would get to run which car out here. Get back to that story yeah, they actually, with Dick they actually put, on, maybe. put the chassis numbers, the car numbers in a hat, and Joey and Mark Davis, his teammate in the 18 car, drew. Joey drew first. He drew out this car. This, this is the car they both wanted to run. He said, well, I'll tell you what, we'll make it two out of three. And they drew again, and, he drew, and Joey drew it, the number again. He said, well, that's enough. We're not doing three out of five. You know, though, it really almost doesn't seem to matter what car Logano drives or what series he races in. His first ARCA race ever, he won it. The first time he ever entered a West Series race, he won it. The first time he ever entered an East Series race, he won it. All that in a collection of different cars. He didn't win his first nationwide start last year, but he did win last year at Kentucky in the nationwide series. Double file restarts because everything here happens short track style, and that's the way we like it. Eric Holmes, Chris Johnson on the front row, Brian Eichler 15, Jason Bowles in the six, Trevor Bain in the one, Jeff Barkshire in the 46, Ryan Foster 41, David Mayhew 14, Ron Hornaday is in the 33, and New Hampshire's Eddie McDonald in the 71. That's your top 10. Logano is 11th, Nick Lynch is 12th, Perez, David, Hasse, Richardson, Kennedy, Vitovich. Sellers and Dillon, the top 20, we're set to go. We have 17 laps complete. At lap 100, they'll take a break. You know, Mike, this is one place that really starting on the inside because you were leaving is not an advantage. And watch right now, Eric Holmes trying to take advantage on the outside. Holmes, as the leader, I believe Phil has lane choice on the front row. He elected to start on the outside. And he's hooked up. Now it's Johnson who's trying to fend off that white number 15 of Brian Eichler. Well, you look back right behind these guys, and they're three and four wide through these wide corners here at Irwindale. It looks like going into these corners, that bottom lane gives really good grip. But having a little more RPM coming off on the top is so inviting. It's, you've yeah. got room down there. Look, there's all kinds of room on this race track. There's Peyton Sellers, that 83 orange and white Jigaloo Chevrolet right in the middle of that pack. There's Alex Haas at 51. That's actually a, a Kyle Busch entry that Alex Haas is driving, that 51 car. Riding with Peyton Sellers as he looks under the 44 of Richardson. Not quite able to get the bite on the bottom of the race track. There's Antonio Perez, our Mexican champion, the outside of the 12 car. There's Nick Lynch leading that group right there, the 29. It's a racetrack where three wide is commonplace and four abreast racing is not uncommon.
complete next time by Eric Holmes, Brian Eichler. And the battle's at third. Trevor Bain Bain on the inside of pole sitter Chris Johnson. And just so much action back in the pack. It's fun to watch. There is racing everywhere. Big Sellers trying to make it work in that Jigaloo car in the bottom. He's got the nine of Augie Vidovich right behind him. It's a whale of a battle for 14th position. There's that three, that block number three of Austin Dillon. And he's sneaking coming. his nose. He is coming. Dillon's gained a couple of spots since the restart. The 18 year old high school senior. Dick. Jason Bowles had started on the outside of the front row, but he is dropping back and dropping back quickly. A few moments ago, the crew rushed to the wall as if they were going to change a tire. Bowles had just been on the radio saying he thought he had one going now, but he is still on the racetrack and not going well for him. He's still losing spots. There's Bowles in the number six. In the wall, hard one car, turn one. There's Nick Lynch. He was in that heavy, heavy battle we were watching just a few moments ago. That was a hard hit to the concrete. And you can see how the back of that card is folded right up. You know what? It looks like it's still tracking pretty straight. Yeah, it does. It does. Wow. Maybe they, they can get beat that quarter panel beat down a little bit. So it doesn't block that spoiler. See him on the outside. He's got Austin Dillon right behind him. Looks like he might Let's see if they, as they get down and turn number one. Oh no, the 12. Yeah, he got with the 12. On the outside of Antonio Perez, they made a little bit of contact and it turned Nick around into the outside wall. There's another view. You see the contact's already made, top of your screen. Nick, Nick makes some pretty hard contact with that left rear corner. But I believe, as you mentioned, I don't think it did anything to the, to the wheels. No. So if they get that quarter panel beat down where it's not blocking that rear spoiler, he may be okay. Lynch was running 18th at the time of the caution, the second one we've had tonight. See Rockstar Beverage on the hood of that Dodge. Brother Scott doing the spotting for him here. The whole family was out of Barrett Jackson last week mm -hmm. uh, when yeah. we were live on speed and talked to Scott up on the block for a bit, but uh, big family vacation. Yeah, they really enjoy right. it every year coming down there. Second caution of the night. 29 of Nick Lynch making contact with Perez and into the turn one wall.